In this video, we are going to study about Cartesian products. So, Cartesian products of two sets A and B is denoted by this symbol A cross B and uh, it consists of a set of ordered pairs A, B. So, here A comes from this first set and B comes from this second set. So, there is a ordered pair A, B and here it is different from B cross A. Here ordering is important, so that's why it's written ordered pairs. So it's all the possible ordered pairs that we can generate from two sets such that first element comes from first set and second element comes from second set. So this is called Cartesian product. So it is the set of all such ordered pairs. We don't have to skip any uh, such ordered pair. For example, we have set A which is 1, 2 and 3. So let's draw it 1, 2, 3 and this is set A and another set is B which has just two elements A, B. Then we are interested in this. You have to take all the combinations. So the take the first element from set A and pair it with both of the B. So we have 1A and 1B. This is the only possibility of ordered pairs where the first element is 1 because the second element has just the second set has just two elements. Now we take 2 and again pair it with both A and B. So we have 2A and 2B similarly for 3, 3A and 3B. So we have six such ordered pairs. So here A had three elements, B had two elements, then this Cartesian product A cross B has six elements. So how do we find the number of ordered pairs that are possible? So here we saw that the A has three elements, B had two elements. So we got six. So exactly we have to multiply the cardinality of these two sets. And remember that cardinality is the number of elements in a set. So why is it so? Because here we have, let's say three elements and here we have two elements. Then this first element will pair with all the elements here. So if this has n1 elements and this has n2 elements, then for each n1 elements, we first pick one element and pair it with all the n2 elements. So all the n2 elements. So we got n2. Similarly for second element of set A, again we pair with all the n2 elements. So we again get n2 ordered pairs. So this we will do for all the elements of A. So this n2 will be added n1 times. So n2 plus n2 plus n2 n1 times so we will get n1 times n2 or uh, in a simple way we can see that this has n1 elements and this has n2 elements so there will be all the possible combinations so there will be n1 multiplied by n2 combinations possible so this is the result now how can we compare two ordered pairs so in case of sets we said that uh, 1 2 3 this set was equal to 3, 2, 1 because here in the set ordering is not important. But in the case of ordered pair, ordering is important. So if we are given two ordered pairs, A1, A2 and B1, B2 and we will say that these are equal only if the first of this and first of the second ordered pair is same and similarly second element of the ordered pair are also equal. So A1 should be equal to A2 and B1 equal to B2. So let's say I am given one ordered pair 2 3 and 2 3 and 1 3 2 so this 2 3 is equal to 2 3 because these are equal but this is not equal to 3 2 although the elements are same 3 and 2 but their order is different so this is not equal to this so in case of comparing ordered pairs this we have to do element wise comparison. Similarly, we have an ordered pair of three elements A1, A2, A3 
and compare it with b1, b2, b3. Then we will compare element wise because these are ordered pairs and one ordered pair AB is different from BA. So that's all for Cartesian products. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.